Hi everyone, my name is JJ and today we are going to explore the difference between how air molecules and water molecules interact. And to do that, we're going to do a really fun at-home science demonstration. To do this demonstration, you're going to need two balloons, one that you're going to blow up with air and one that's going to be a water balloon, safety goggles, a barbecue lighter, and you'll want some adult supervision. The first thing that I'm going to do for safety, I'm going to put on my safety goggles. Perfect! So now, very carefully, we're going to take our barbecue lighter and we're going to see what happens when we apply a little bit of heat to this balloon. But before we do that, what do you think is going to happen? Well, let's find out. Three, two, one. It definitely popped. We're going to experiment, only instead of air, we're going to use a water balloon. Just to be safe, I'm going to use this container underneath in case the water pops. All right. Three, two, one. You can see that there are scorch marks on the balloon where the flame was directly over it, but it didn't pop. And the reason why is all about what's inside of this balloon compared to what was inside the balloon filled with air. Air molecules are in a gaseous state, which means they're really activated and excited and they are moving all around really quickly. When heat is applied to them, they need more space to move around immediately. And because the balloon is trapping them, they get more and more excited until eventually they get so hot they have to pop out of the balloon. In comparison, the water inside of our water balloon is actually really comfortable. So those molecules are just floating around, and when you apply the heat, you actually would have to apply the heat long enough to make the water begin to boil and have some of those molecules start to go from a liquid to a gas in order for it to explode. That would have taken a really long time, which is why the balloon was able to stay, luckily, nice and contained without popping and spilling water all over the place. Well, that was our science experiment at home for the day. I hope you enjoyed that. My name is JJ. Until next time.